Hey guys, what up? This is the Spirit Bongo 187, and we are going to play a match against Sam. What up? Let's give him the have fun because this is a match that uh, I saw him in a match that I was playing, and he asked me to record a video for him and post it on YouTube and play a match against him. So we set up this match, and he's playing Amber Rain. That's one of my favorite decks, as you guys know. Let's check out our rating here. We have 282 rating and almost 20,000 uh, score points. So he comes with a turn 2 Pewin. Let's turn back our music on. Because I was listening to my own music, I wasn't planning on recording. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of. <laughs> Make your commentary good, lol. Uh, I'll try, I'll try. Still practicing. And uh, let's get rid of the Leyline Nexus, I think. But. Yeah, I do think we're going to get rid of that or Morbid Acolyte. We have much turn 3 drop creatures here in our hand. Um, and still, it's our choice. Let's get rid of the Morbid Acolyte and just enter. So, Sam, one up, what up? 88. Let's check out his score points. How many rating? So I just bumped him to him when I was playing against a TJ clan member and he's going to cast out our Blood Frenzy here and it's going to end turn I hope and this is really a nice start for him he got to turn 2 drop you in turn 3 Blood Frenzy here well, I have a, got a bad hand either but hey, oh, he's in third of the top 100 that's really really nice so let's get rid of the poison arrow we do want to keep. That makes it also nice. Well, now the lame line nexus is going to go away. And I do want to keep this uh, ability left if, uh, because I'm scared of uh, of his Alden. Um, are we going to drop a dead mage on his Puin? Because he can play a Jeweler's Dream. But this one would also die of the Jewelers Dream, so let's drop out our Dead Mage. And are we going to use our ability? Mm. Yeah, we're going to use our ability. So let's just think he's going to play uh, a Jewelers Dream now, so. Top 100. I feel so small now. <laughs> Top 100 is really, really nice. Uh, well, we draw a pretty, pretty good card. This one also always comes when I need it. Um, let's see here. We are going to sacrifice um, the poison arrow. We can get rid of the poison arrow or the morbid acolyte. These choices are very hard. Um, let's get rid of the gargoyle here. Play the feathered bow. Give two damage to his to his Alden and another two to finish him off. But he still got his nice card advantage from his blood frenzy, and that sucks. I really need to draw a server tie very soon, or something to draw cards to draw a server tie. There comes his Judas dream, as we expected. But lucky for me, it takes two hits to take out the dead mage. So let's see what he is up to. He's taking down one damage to the dead mage. We are going to skip our sacrificial turn, playing the morbid acolyte, and we are going to give him two damage at least. And we are going to wait one turn with taking away the durability from his jeweler's dream. So still I think Amberain is one of the top decks. But there are so many uh, players that play Server Tires now these days or Spectral Saber. But still it is a good a very good deck. And I have some Server Tires near I think two of them. Yeah, two of them. But I really need to draw them very soon. Um, let's see, we can deal two damage. Let's see, there's two durability left. 
could deal damage, 2 damage to both of them and hit the Alden in the face, taking him down. And I do think we're going to do that. Or don't we? Well, yeah, the Seductor's gone is also pretty nice. Then I should play the Fury and Terror. No, we don't want to do that. We are going to skip. We are going to use our ability on the both of them. Because I do want them to establish board control. And take down the Alden. And do we want to poison the Jasmine? Maybe? We could do it. Then she would die. Yeah, let's do that. So he's not going to finish off the Morbid Acolyte. So they both they, they take one two damage or one damage. So he's at 22 health and his Jasmine is at one health. There comes his worm. So that's why we saved the perfect shot to get rid of the worm when we have our ability back. There comes a crippling blow. And man, what do I hate the the blood frenzy card. So let's see here. We do have um this ability, we can take it down to one health and use the ability next turn. Let's see. If we still have enough health. What do we want to play? Hmm. I think I'm going for this bow here and hit him in the face to take away the durability from his weapon. And we'll just end turn. The Doctors will die, he's going to 17. And let's hope he doesn't have a new Jewel's Dream here. And he has got one. Wow, that's pretty nice. And still, I haven't used any card advantage cards, I think. No, I haven't used any Sacrifice of Lamp or the armor that gives me a card when my one of my allies dies. And still, I'm pretty, pretty equal with him. Because of my ability is doing so much good. And uh, this is the armor that I went meant Red of the Forest. But it's coming a little bit too late. Just a little bit. Um, but next turn we can finish off the worm with my perfect shot and the ability. So we are going to play my armor here. Yeah? And are we going to attack? I don't think so, because I'm going to lose some durability already, so let's just end turn here. And see what he's going to play. Another armored sandworm. And taking away durability for my weapon. And two more damage for me, for him, sorry, three more damage for me, and he's destroyed my weapon, or my armor, whatever. Because my weapon only has one durability left, so it would be pretty stupid to destroy it after all of that. And let's see. Hmm. Well, we got one perfect shot here. Well, we could use the life gain. Also go for his throat and drop out a dead mage, giving him one damage. Now we're going to perfect shot one of these worms. Let's take one this, take out that one. Let's deal some damage to the both of them. And do we want to attack him? Take away the durability. Yeah, let's just do it. Doesn't matter. Take him down to 12, myself to 14, and I'm going to 9 next turn. But this Blood Frenzy is so overpowered. Well, it's not overpowered, it's just a good card. It was pretty... It was a, a lot better before some updates. It only cost the two, uh, two resources back at that time. Here we are at 9 health, he's playing nothing this turn. Turn 7, 4 cards in his hand. Um, let's see here, we're going to play our, our dead mage, give him one damage, 
and our iron hide garage. So we have something on the board left. And he can cripple blow my dead mage, that doesn't matter, so. And there comes reserve weapon. Oh man, I do hate Jeweler's Dream. That's coming in for 4 damage right now. With the worm, it's together good for 6 damage. Crippling my garage. Dealing me 6 damage now. Now he's going to take down dead mage, that's also a great possibility. Going for the safest way. Okay, what do we have here? Well, I guess I'm dead meat. I could play the weapon, but then I would take enough damage if I play the weapon and attack. I'm dead. Hmm. <laughs> no, there's no way out of here. We'll just skip, play the weapon, give him the GG. That's it, that's loose, that's a little bit less rating for me, a little bit more rating for him. But yeah, he's second or third in top 100, so it's not a shame to lose to this guy. And it still was a pretty good match. And I'll... Uh, I'll... Uh, load a sec. Uh. Well, what is happening with my Bane bow? <laughs> and there he comes for damage, taking me down. And that's it guys. Well, I hope you liked this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. And we'll see you next match. Cheers!